Hi friend, I'm Pastor Terry Bohm from Canada, and I want to invite you to a life-changing series on prayer. You know, most Christians want to pray, but many of us just really feel we don't know how. Well, I'm going to give you a prayer toolbox. We're going to give you tools, nine different kinds of prayer that you can use on many different occasions that will make your prayer life dramatically improve. I hope you join us. Hi, I'm Pastor Terry Bone, and we're back here talking about prayer and how we can have effective prayer for our lives. 到这个祷告的系列，继续谈如何更有效的可以得到祷告的回应。We call the series the prayer toolbox. 我们叫做祷告的工具箱这个系列。Because we're learning the different kinds of prayers that we can use on different occasions. 因为我们正在学在不同的状况当中，怎样用不同的祷告。Ephesians six eighteen says, "Be ready to pray with all kinds of prayers on all occasions." 以弗所书六章十八节告诉我们要随时多方的祷告祈求。and let me give you an example of a very effective prayer. I was on a mission trip years ago. I was leading a team of over 20 people. And uh, unfortunately, we were having some conflict on the team. I was the leader. But one of the other men on the team wanted to be the leader. And quite frankly, he was acting uh, very immature and he had um, said some pretty nasty words right out in front of the group. I had never ha had anything like that happen before. Now, I'm a pastor. And I didn't think it would be good to call back home to the church and tell them we were fighting. So I didn't know what to do. So I went and prayed. And I went for a long walk. Late at night. And I was thinking about next morning how we would be ministering at churches all over this uh, country that we were in. And I prayed, Lord, please help us to work this through. So I can't remember everything I prayed, but the next day everything just seemed to work out. But here's the fascinating thing about that story. On that same Saturday night that I was praying, something happened back home in Canada. Now we have specific people set up to, to provide prayer cover for our team. We call them our intercessors. One of them woke up in the middle of the night. She heard her phone ring. And she had an answering machine. She didn't want to get up and answer it, so she just listened to see them to hear the message on the machine. She heard my voice. I was, a, I was addressing her by name. And I said, We have some problems here today. And I began to list problems, and the one of them was the team is having some conflict, and would you please pray about it? She rolled over and went back to sleep. Got up early, intending to pray, went and pushed the button on the machine. There was no message there. But she still remembers those words, so she prayed very hard for us to have peace on the team. And when I got home, she asked me this question. She said, Terry, did you call me? I said, no, I didn't call you. God called you. So there I am having these problems 
uh, many miles from home, and God's on the phone to one of my intercessors. 你看我距离家这么远的地方，是神呢打电话给我的代祷者，让他祷告。That can happen. 这是可以发生的。Because God does nothing except an answer to prayer. 神什么事都不做，除非他回应你的祷告。And every time in this world that there is a problem or a situation or a crisis. God will wake up someone or speak to someone to pray about it. 每次在世界上有事情发生的时候，有困难发生的时候，神总会把一些人叫起来，叫他们祷告。And he will either have them speak in tongues, or he will give them something to repent for, or he will instruct them on how to pray effectively. 他们被叫起来以后呢，神就会跟他们讲说，你们要怎么祷告。有的时候是方言祷告，有的时候是认罪悔改，以至于他们的祷告可以有果效。There's many examples of this. 可以给你很多的例子。So let's, but let's go into the Bible before I go back and tell you some stories. 我们先来看看圣经的教导，我们再来看更多的故事。And if you have a Bible near you, get it in front of you, please, because we're going to spend a few minutes uncovering what the Bible says about this unique kind of prayer. 接下来呢，我们会花一点时间来仔细看到圣经对于这样特别的这个代祷有什么样的教导。It's extremely powerful. This is 非常有全能的 So if you can take the time to learn how it works, God can use you to do mighty things in prayer. 假如你可以花一点时间把这个代祷学会的话呢，神会大大的使用你 I'm going to give you a definition of it first. 首先，我们来看什么叫做代祷 Intercession is standing in the gap before God. 代祷的意思就是在神面前站在破口上 To do two things. 来做两件事 So let's look at what the scripture says about that. 经文怎么说呢 Ezekiel twenty-two verse thirty. 以西结书二十二章第三十节 And that scripture says the following. 这一节经文是这样讲的 I looked for a man among them who would build up the wall and stand before me in the gap. 我在他们中间寻找一人重修墙垣。在我面前为这国站在破口防堵。On behalf of the land, so I would not have to destroy it, but I found none. 使我不灭绝这国，却找不着一个。Let's take that phrase by phrase. 我们慢慢的看这一节经文。This is God speaking. 这是神在说话。And God is righteous. 神是公义的。Now God has a dilemma. 神有一个困难。He has a problem. 他有问题了。Because his Righteousness demands judgment. But his love desires mercy. And sometimes those two uh, parts of God's nature are in conflict. See, God's righteous and he can't just overlook sin. Sometimes we do that as parents. We just overlook some of the things that our children do. We, as parents, do that. We just overlook some of the that our children do. We, as parents, do that. We just overlook some of the that our children do. We, as parents, do that. We just overlook some of the that our children do. So how do these two get reconciled? 那这两个本质怎么样得到和谐 ？Well, in the grand sense, that's why Jesus had to come. 那么我简单的说，就是这是为什么耶稣要来的缘故。And let's talk about that first, and then we'll come back to explain every、uh, every phrase in this verse. 我们首先来看这个概念，再回来解释这一节的经文。Now in English, the word intercession comes from two words in Latin, and it means go between. 代祷在拉丁文里面是走到中间的意思。So to intercede is to go between or to act as a mediator between two groups. 所谓的代祷呢，就是你站在当中，或者是你作为两个团体当中的中介者或是协调者。The whole reason for intercession is、uh, as a consequence of a break in relationship through sin. 代祷所呃，为什么需要代祷的缘故，是因为罪的缘故把这两方的关系打断了，所以需要一个代求者。Now, maybe before I go any further, I should explain something. In in church circles, this word "intercede" is used often. In church circles, this word "intercede" is used often. In church circles, this word "intercede" is used often. In church circles, this word "intercede" is used often. In church circles, this word "intercede" is used often. In church circles, this word "intercede" is used often. In church circles, this word "intercede
In fact, it's one of those words that's used so often people don't really understand its meaning. 因为常常都随便的用它，所以大家已经失去了真正什么叫做代表的意义，不了解了。And they mistake what I call petition or asking for intercession. 那么以为我们之前讲的这个祈求啊，就是代求。But they're not the same. 可是他们其实是不一样的。Just like the prayer of faith is different from petition. 好像这个信心的祷告跟祈求又是不一样的。So is intercession. 代祷也是不一样。Okay, intercession isn't just asking for things. 代祷就是求。Intercession is the act of pleading for mercy when God's judgment would bring destruction. 那么代求呢？呃，除了这个求神以外，还要求神的恩慈、怜悯，以至于神不会将审判临到。It's an act of、um, mediation between judgment and mercy. It is in mercy and judgment to make a bridge. Let's let's look at、uh, let's look at Isaiah 63 verses 4 and 5. We'll look at Isaiah 63 verses 4 and 5. Then you'll see these two natures in God. 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 Then you'll see these two Chapter sixty-three, verse four says, "The day of vengeance was in my heart, and the year of my redemption has come." 第四节，因为我报仇之日在我心中，救赎我民之年已经来到。You see, vengeance had come, but redemption was in his heart. 因为要施行审判，所以是报仇的日子。可是呢，在他的心中却想要救赎。Okay. And so both, both were in God's heart. These two things are in God's heart. So what to do? How to do? He says, "I was appalled. He was astonished that he couldn't find anyone who could come and pray about this." He says, "I was appalled. He was astonished that he couldn't find anyone who could come and pray about this." He says, "I was appalled. He was astonished that he couldn't find anyone who could come and pray about this." He says, "I was appalled. He was astonished that he couldn't find anyone who could come and pray about this." He says, "I was appalled. He was astonished that he couldn't find anyone who could come and pray about this." He says, "I was appalled. He was astonished that he couldn't find anyone who could come and pray about this." He says, "I was appalled. He was astonished that he couldn't find anyone who could come and pray about this." He says, "I was appalled. He was astonished that he couldn't find anyone who could come and pray about this." He says, "I was appalled. He was astonished that he couldn't find anyone who could come and pray about this." He says, We'll wonder why we didn't cooperate with God's plan and get praying. We just 想说我们自己为什么都不顺服神，没有跟他合作来祷告呢 ？I think when we get to heaven, the thing that will astonish us the most is how little we prayed when we were here on earth. 当我们到达天堂的时候，真正让我们惊讶的，应该就是我们在地上的时候怎么祷告这么少。Friend, when you when you comprehend the real value of prayer. You'll wonder at your own prayerlessness as well. 朋友们，当你真正知道祷告的含义跟它的力量，你真的会惊讶你自己实在太少祷告。Okay, so let's talk about this sin problem for a moment. 我们来谈这个罪呀、啊。For a while, God gave the law under Moses. 那么之前呢，神把这个律法给了摩西。But I see that more or less as a as a loan until Christ came to pay the full price for sin. 这好像是呢，先呃有一个贷款借出去，可是直到耶稣基督来到时候呢，才把这个罪的救赎完全付出代价。Now stay with me while we go through a few scriptures because I have to build this step by step. 我们要再看几节经文，慢慢的建立你的观念。When we have the concepts built together, then we'll go back to some practical examples. 当你有正确的观念时候，我们再看怎么应用它。We talked about the need for a mediator. <coughs> 我们看到有一个中介者的需求。Who is that mediator between God and people? Who is God and people? First Timothy two, chapter two, verse five says these words that there is only one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Timothy two, two, five tells us that there is only one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. The man. He is man. Jesus did not become the mediator until he became a man. Jesus did not become the mediator until he became a man. When he was still in heaven with his father, he couldn't mediate. He was still in heaven with his father, he couldn't mediate. He was still in heaven with his father, he couldn't mediate. He was still in heaven with his father, he couldn't mediate. He was still in heaven with his father, he couldn't mediate. He was still in heaven with his father, he couldn't mediate. He was still in heaven with his father, he couldn't mediate. He was still in heaven with his father, he couldn't mediate. Uh, had the time to unfold further、uh, scriptures, you would see that he mediated in both directions. If we look more closely at the scripture, he actually is from two sides. 
And if you happen to be a note taker and have a pen and paper there, you can take down these scriptures. 假如你可以的话，就把这些经节记下来。John one verse fourteen. 约翰福音一章十四节。Colossians two verse nine. 哥罗西书二章九节。Show us him mediating from God to man. 告诉我们他是从神那个角度来为我们做中介者。In the other direction, from man to God, we have Hebrews nine thirteen and fourteen. 希伯来书九章十三十四节 Twelve twenty four. 十二章二十四节 And Second Corinthians five twenty one. 哥林多后书五章二十一节，这是从人的角度向神做我们的中介者 So if you're really studious, you can go and look all those up. 你如果真的是一个努力研读的学生，就把这些经文都找出来读 But basically, they're saying between. People and God, Jesus mediated both ways. In God and man, Jesus from two angles, at once, was the mediator. Now let's look at the different roles Christ fulfilled while he was here on earth. When Jesus was still on earth, he fulfilled what roles? His role as the perfect human was complete. 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 That story in Matthew 17, where he goes in the Mount of Transfiguration,、uh, is a hard scripture to understand sometimes. Matthew 福音十七章讲到耶稣上变相山的这一段经文，有的时候我们很难了解。But basically, he was glorified because he had lived a perfect life. 因为他在地上有个完美的生活，所以他被荣耀了。He had fulfilled the the、uh, the law and the prophets, and this was symbolized by. Moses for the law and Elijah for the prophets appearing and talking to him. Because he was on earth, he had fulfilled the law and the prophets' demands. So the law symbolizes Moses, the prophets symbolizes Elijah, appearing to him and talking to him. And after that time, he began to set his face to the cross. After that time, he began to set his face to the cross. After that time, he began to set his face to the cross. After that time, he began to set his face to the cross. After that time, he began to set his face to the cross. After that time, he began to set his face to the cross. 我要说的是，耶稣在地上所该做的事都已经完成做好了。He was a perfect man. 他是个完美的人。Secondly, he was a perfect sacrifice. 然后他也是个完美的牺牲。Uh, Hebrews 10 verses 10 to 14. 希伯来书十章十到十四节。Uh, we we see he was not was, his blood was not like the blood of animals. His blood was sufficient to forgive the sins of everyone. 他的血呢，并不是像动物的血一样，只能救赎那个献祭的人，而是能够救赎所有世上的人。His role as the、uh, the perfect servant is complete. Philippians two. 腓立比书二章告诉我们，他是一个完全的仆人。He perfectly modeled humility. 他完全的让我们看到什么叫做谦卑。His role as God's ambassador to the earth is complete. John chapter nineteen. 约翰福音十九章告诉我们，耶稣成为神到人世间的这个大使的位置，他也完全的满足了。His role as prophet is complete from Hebrews one verses one and two. 希伯来书一章一节二节告诉我们，耶稣作为一个先知的角色，他满足了。However, there's one role that is not yet complete. 然而还有一个角色，他没有完全的满足。It's still continuing to occur today. 今天持续的。在做这个角色的工作。So turn with me to Hebrews chapter seven, please. 我们来看希伯来书第七章。Chapter seven, verses twenty-two to twenty-four. I'm going to read them for you. 第七章，二十三、二十四节，我们来读这两节经文。Because of this oath, Jesus has become the guarantee of a better covenant. 那些呃为祭司的数目本来多，是因为有死阻隔，不能长久。Now there have been many of those priests since death prevented them from continuing. Oh, 对不起，我们再看第二十二节，既是起示例的，耶稣就做了更美之约的中保。But because Jesus lives forever, he has a permanent priesthood. 但是呢，在第二十啊三节后半说呢，啊，这些这位既是永远长存的，他祭司的职任就长久不更换。And then the key verse is twenty-five. It says he always lives to intercede for us. 二十五节说呢，凡靠着他进到神面前的人，他都能够拯救到底，因为他长远活着替他们祈求。You know, I should remember that more often. 我要常常记得这个事实。
And you should too. We're never alone. We're never without help. Jesus is praying for us every day. Now he must be pretty busy in that job. And of course we can't conceptualize how he can be praying for all the believers in the world every day. We just don't know how. And so this, this um, ministry that he continues, it's because we still must stand in the gap and intercede for the situations that happen day by day. Now the Lord has asked us to share in this ministry that Jesus has to intercede. So let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 5. I'm going to read a few verses. It says that, um, first of all, it says that we're a new creation in Christ. It says God has reconciled us through Christ. But now it says we are Christ's ambassadors in verse 20. And it also says... In verse 18, he's given us the ministry of reconciliation. Okay, that was a whole basket load of scriptures. Wow, Hope you're still with me on this. I want to connect the dots for you and then get into some practical application. God and people had a break because of sin. God's got a problem. He wants to answer our prayers, but he can't because of the break. His righteousness demands judgment. His love desires mercy. Jesus came and lived as a man to successfully bridge that gap. His life built a bridge between us and God. That bridge is built, it's complete. But now he lives interceding every day in heaven. And he's given us the same ministry. And we talked about the keys of the kingdom in an earlier session. This is one of the big keys that opens many doors. If we do not successfully intercede for people and situations, many will be locked out of the kingdom of heaven. Let me give you an example. Here's how I believe it works. Whenever there is a difficult situation, a natural disaster, or something happening, God looks ahead of time for someone to pray. It was a number of years ago I was invited to a prayer meeting. I didn't know what I was getting into. Few ladies that lived in another city said, Come on and join us this afternoon. We have our regular prayer meeting. But this, this prayer meeting was a little intense for what I was used to. They started uh, by just praying in tongues for about 20 minutes. I'm thinking, why don't we pray so that each of us can understand? But I discovered afterwards this was their habit uh, that they did. 
这就是他们的习惯，他们就是做这样的事。Because they wanted to hear from God. 因为他们要首先听到神的声音。So they would just let the Spirit pray through them for the first twenty minutes. 首先二十分钟，让圣灵借着他们祈求。And then whatever God put in their heart, they'd begin to declare it. 不管神放在他们里面什么事情，他们就开始宣告。There was about ten of them, and they were intense. 那么十个人都非常努力的祷告。Then had a strange thing happen. 但有奇怪的事发生。In the middle of that prayer meeting. God put upon my heart the nation of Japan. I thought at first it was just a coincidence because one of the ladies was Japanese. I thought this is a coincidence because one of the ladies was Japanese. But over five minutes, that burden grew. Then, five minutes later, there was a voice from my heart. And then I stood up and I said, "Excuse me, I have to stop the meeting." I have to share something to, that we need to pray about. And I began to talk about how uh, the Second World War, um, how the bombs and the first nuclear bombs were dropped on those two cities in Japan. And I said, I feel the Lord is telling me that as a As a North American person, I need to repent for the devastation and destruction that act brought. 作为一个呃北美的美国人呢，我必须要为这一件事情来悔改。Now I know somebody listening to me right now is going to say, "Yes, but there was greater horror on the other side, and this was necessary to to、uh, stop the war." 在听到这个信息之后，也许你会说：“可是丢原子炸弹是必须的，因为他们实在太邪恶了。” Okay, my comments now are not a political commentary. 我现在所讲的话的内容呢，不是站在政治的角度。Maybe that was the only way to stop the war, but I believe that it always hurts God's heart when innocent people are killed. 也许这是唯一可以停止战争的方法。可是，在我的心里觉得呢，每一次有无辜的人死亡的时候，神的心总是会伤痛。I'm talking about God seeing every individual and their eternal destiny. 我所谈的角度是，当神看到每一个个人他们的命定，他们永恒的命定。When I shared those words, the Japanese woman jumped up. 当我分享这些话的时候，那个日本的女士她就跳起来。And she said. I was there in Nagasaki when the bombs were dropped. 他说，当原子炸弹丢下去的时候，我就在那个 Nagasaki 那个城市里。She'd been three years old and she experienced that atomic bomb. 他那时候才三岁，他经历了这个原子弹的掉落。She said, "I had family members die." 我的家人死了。So I stood in front of her and did something that we call identificational repentance. I said, on behalf of my people, I repent for what my people did to your people. 我说，我代表我的百姓，我为我的百姓悔改，因为他们对你百姓所做的事。Now I felt a little awkward doing it. 我觉得做这种事好怪哦。But I felt led my heart to do it. 可是我的心带领我要这样做。And then I began to pray. I said, I believe the Lord is showing me that He's about to do something in Japan. I believe the Lord is showing me that He's about to do something in Japan. I believe the Lord is showing me that He's about to do something in Japan. I believe the Lord is showing me that He's about to do something in Japan. I believe the Lord is showing me that He's about to do something in Japan. I believe the Lord is showing me that He's about to do something in Japan. I believe the Lord is showing me that He's about to do something in Japan. I believe the Lord is showing me that He's about to do something in Japan. I believe the Lord is showing me that He's about to do something in Japan. I believe the Lord is showing me that He's about to do something in Japan. I believe the Lord is showing me that He's about to do something in Japan. I believe the Lord is showing me that He's about to do something in Japan. I believe the Lord is showing me that He's about to do something in Japan. I believe the Lord is showing me that He's about to do something in Japan. I believe the Lord is showing me that He's about to do something in Japan. I believe the Lord is showing me that He's about So I said, I believe that something is going to happen soon in Japan, and that today we are one group of many that God has raised up to pray for that nation. I said, I believe that in Japan there will be something happen. Maybe God is now raising up a prayer team to pray for this nation. And that was the end of it. 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 I was wondering if I was right or wrong. How do I know? Next morning, I turned on the radio and I, I felt a chill go through my body. Because the first item on the news was that there had been an earthquake in Kobe, Japan. I quickly、um, figured out. 
from the time they said and the time difference when that earthquake had actually happened. 我就去寻找一下这个地震发生的时间,根据我们那里的时间是什么时候呢? I figured, and I was able to discern it happened within 30 minutes after we prayed the day before. 在我们那一天祷告之后的30分钟,地震就发生了。So what? 那又如何呢? Well, I went back and talked to that lady from Japan. 后来我就回去跟那个从日本来的女士就讲这个事. She told me she had family members in Kobe that day. Some of them were in the earthquake. She had been praying for years and years for her family to become Christians. One of her relatives was a Buddhist and was very, very stubborn against Christianity. And that poor person died in the earthquake that day. Now, I am not saying that God killed her. I am not saying that God wants to judge all the people that aren't Christian and bring them to death. I'm not even saying God's will was for that earthquake. I'm saying that God sees everything that's going to happen ahead of time. And when he knows destruction is coming, he raises up people ahead of time to pray. To stand in that gap and to plead for mercy. Not every one of that lady's family was saved. But I believe everyone had a chance to be. And that's the power of intercession. It, it, it brings the fear of God into our hearts. So we see the power and righteousness of God. But we see his love for every individual person. Let's go back to Ezekiel 22:30, and then I want to tell a story from the Bible. See, God said he looked for a man, a person. It could be a man or a woman. Who would build up the wall, and we'll talk about what that means later. But stand before me in the gap. Even the phrase stand before me is significant. Okay, it's not someone standing between two parties trying to keep them from fighting. But standing facing God. Saying, God, don't bring destruction. Looking face to face to God. Pleading to restrain judgment and release mercy. People who are intercessors are actually participating in the governing of this world. Intercessors help determine the destinies of people, of families, of communities, and of nations. Now, we're going to talk about Abraham. And you may think from the story, oh yeah, well that's Abraham, he was this great biblical figure. But just keep in mind as we talk about Abraham that in this passage, God says, I look for any person, someone, not just the big name. So what Abraham did, you can do also. So turn with me to Genesis chapter 18. One of my favorite passages in the Bible. Now, we don't have time to read the whole chapter, but you ought to read 
Genesis 17 and 18 to get the entire context. 假如你真的要了解这个经文内容，你要读创世纪十七章跟十八章。I'll, I'll give it to you. 好，我会来告诉你。Abraham and Sarah have been promised they are going to have many descendants. 亚伯拉罕跟撒拉接到神的应许，说会给他们很多的后裔。They've been waiting well over 20 years. 他们等了都超过二十年了。Then God shows up in the scene, confirms the covenant. 然后神又跑出来跟他说：“我跟你立的约是有效的。” And then, as the two angels head off to that wicked city of Sodom, God says something to Abram. 当这两个天使呢要去毁灭索多玛、阿摩拉的时候呢，神就告诉亚伯拉罕。And、verse twenty, he says, "The outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is so great, their sin so grievous, that I'm going to go down to those cities." 耶和华说，索多玛和阿摩拉的罪恶甚重。Now I need to add one little thing here. 还要加一件事给你知道。And if you do a study from the whole Bible, you'll see that their sin was not so much、uh, homosexuality, but also that they had the poor at their gate and ignored them. 呃、uh, ，不仅是在这两个城市里面呢，不仅是有同性恋的罪，并且呢，他们把这个穷人。就丢在城门口，然后忽略他们。We don't know what all their sin was. 然后还有其他的罪，我们不全知道的。We just know that it was wickedness, and God was ready to judge. 我们只知道他们的罪恶甚重，而且神要审判他们。So get the picture. 好，所以你知道这整个的状况。God has tremendous patience. 神有极大的耐性。But he says, "I've had it up to here. I've had enough. My righteousness must do something about the sin in that city." 他说呢，我已经忍耐够了。我的公义现在要求我必须要在这城里做一些事。I'm going to go down and wipe them out. 我现在要把他们通通毁灭。Does that sound、uh, mean? 听起来是很恶毒吗 ？Yeah.、Um, God needed to wipe them out at that time, or else they would have spread that wickedness to the world. 他们那些人必须要在那时候全然被毁灭，不然这个罪恶呢就会散播到世界各地。But he also has mercy. 可是他也有恩慈怜悯 He says, "I'm not going to do that till I tell Abraham." 他说我要先告诉亚伯拉罕，我再去做这件事 Imagine that. 想想看 God is about to do something, but he, before he does that, he goes and talks to a man. 神要做这件事，可是他做之前，他先去跟一个人讲一讲 And it says the men turned away, but Abraham stood before the Lord. 他说呢。呃，人们走开了，但是亚伯拉罕站在神的面前。And then we have,、um, we go、uh, for the next ten verses from around twenty-three to thirty-three. We have this kind of debate between Abraham and God. 二十三节到三十三节之间呢，神与亚伯拉罕在争论。Abraham says, "You can't destroy that city if there's fifty righteous men." 亚伯拉罕说，假如这个城里面有五十个义人，你怎么可以毁灭这个城呢？ And he's saying, "God, I, I know you. You, that's not fair." He says, "God, I know you. You are who you are. You do this is wrong." God says, "You're right." 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 God says, "You God says you're right. I won't. Ah,、uh, 神说亚伯拉罕，你说的是对的。<laughs> Then he keeps lowering the numbers. He says, "What about thirty?" 亚伯拉罕说，那三十个人呢 ？He says, "What about twenty?" 二十个人呢 ？And then he goes down to ten. 最后他说十个人呢 ？And then God says, "No, even for ten righteous people, I won't destroy the city." 神说，就算是有十个义人，我也不毁灭那城。So Abraham pleads for the salvation. Of those that aren't、um, participating in whatever the sin was. 那么亚伯拉罕是为那些并没有加入索多玛、俄摩拉罪的这些的异人来代求。God already knew he was going to pray that prayer. 神早就知道他会这样祷告。So he's already got his plan of action、uh, happening. 神已经计划好了。Those two angels go and take Lot's family out of the city. 两个天使说转身而去，就是去救罗德的家。And here's why I believe. I can't prove this to you, but here's what I believe. 
。这是我以下的相信，虽然我不能够向你证实。I believe the reason Abraham stopped praying at ten is because all of his relatives in that city probably added up to more than ten. 我相信呢，这个亚伯拉罕在这个十个人这里就停止了，也许是因为他所有的亲戚加起来大概是十个人左右。So God said, "I am going to wipe out that city." 所以神说，我要去把这城毁了。Abraham stands before God in between the destruction in the city and says. No, you can't. Even if there's ten people, you must not. Abraham 站在神的面前，对神说：“就算是有十个人，你也不可以施行你的审判。” God says, "Okay, I hear your prayer. I'll, I'll take those people out." 神说：“我听到你的祷告了，我会把这些异人救出来。” And he brings them out of the city. 就把他们救出这个城。We can surmise from previous chapters in the Bible that Lot really wasn't seeking God at this time. We can see from the previous chapters that Lot really wasn't seeking God at this time. We can see from the previous chapters that Lot really wasn't seeking God at this time. Lot was Abraham's nephew. Lot was Abraham's nephew. But his entire family was rescued because of Abraham's prayers. But his entire family was rescued because of Abraham's prayers. But his entire family was rescued And why were Abraham's prayers effective? Why 什么亚伯拉罕的祷告是如此的有果效 ？Because Abraham knew he had the right to pray that prayer. 因为亚伯拉罕知道他有这个权柄，他可以这样祷告。Because the Lord had said that Abraham would father many, and he had the right to be directing his descendants in the ways of God. 因为神曾经告诉亚伯拉罕说，他会有许多的后裔，并且他要赐福给他的后裔，按照神的方式。See, we call that identificational rights. 这个叫做认同性的权利。And when he stood in the gap, he was able to successfully、uh, rescue his family. 以至于他站在破口的时候，能够成功的拯救他的家人。Now, according to the story, Lot's wife really didn't want to leave the city. <coughs> 根据这个圣经的记载，罗德的妻子并不想离开那个城。And so because she looked back, she ended up dying. 因为她往回头看，所以她死了。So we can still choose our own fate if we choose wrongly. 假如呃、uh, 我们的我们虽然有被祝福的命定，我们还是可以选择我们自己要什么。But the prayer of intercession will successfully restrain judgment and release mercy. To give everyone the chance they need to come to know the Lord. 可是代求的力量呢，可以让呃神的审判暂停，让神施行他的恩慈怜悯，以至于人们有机会可以认识神。Who knows how many disasters have been averted because of the prayers of faithful intercessors? 谁能够真实的知道，因为有这些的代祷者而免于了很多的灾祸呢？ And remember, we need to take care of the sin question because of the consequences of sin is what gives the enemy legal rights. We need to know that we must first deal with sin because of sin, so that we have legal rights. I want to go back and describe in more detail the story I told you in a previous session. I want to go back and describe in more detail the story I told you in a previous session. I want to go back and describe in more detail the story I told you in a previous session. I want to go back and describe in more detail the story I told you in a previous session. I want to go back and describe in more detail the story I told you in a previous session. I want to go back and describe in more detail the story I told you in a previous session. I want to go back and describe in more detail the story I told you in a previous session. I want to go back and describe in more detail the story I told you in a previous session. I want to go back and describe in more detail the story I told For a vote on whether or not they would separate from the rest of the country of Canada. Quebec Quebec is now voting. They want to vote on whether or not they will separate from the rest of the country of Canada. And um, excuse me. <coughs> and at that time, um, it the opinion poll said yes, they would separate. This opinion poll says that they are going to separate from the rest of the country of Canada. Everyone was believing it's game over. This was going to divide up the country of Canada. And the news reports were saying it. 那么新闻报道也是这样讲的。But、uh, around a week before the vote, we had that huge gathering、uh, called Intercessors for Canada, where a thousand of us gathered to pray. 可是，在民调之前的一个星期呢，我们就有一千个人呢聚集在一起来为加拿大代求。We weren't the only ones praying. There were others. 当然，我相信不是只有这一个团体，还有其他的人同时在祷告。But it was a very deliberate meeting. 可是这个聚会的目的就是为了魁北克省。And the Lord gave us revelation in that meeting of what was blocking the answer to our prayers. 
，主在那个聚会里面告诉我们，到底是什么缘故来停止，呃，让我们不能够回得到我们祷告的回应。Because thousands of people were praying for Canada to stay together. If Quebec had separated, it would have divided the country geographically, which would have been a, a tremendous negative impact upon the economy. 假如呢，魁北克省从加拿大独立的话，对整个加拿大经济是一个很大的灾祸。Not to mention socially or other ways. 还有在社会上的分离等等。So the leader of that meeting said this. 这个聚会的领袖这样说。You have to understand the history of Canada. Quebec represents the nation of France. That's where all the French first settled. Before England came and arrived in the shores. Then the English kind of surrounded them on both sides. And they had a big battle on a, on a certain area of ground in Quebec, and the English won. Ah, 那他们在这个魁北克的某一个地方，他们有个战争，然后英国人赢了。And after that time, uh, Quebec became just one province, but the English ruled Canada. 后来呢，魁北克就变成一个呃省而已，而是英国人来主导加拿大整块地。And there were some pretty, um, uh, pretty awful things that happened during that time. Many people's homes were burned. Their flag was disrespected in, in many things. Now, even today, on license plates in Quebec, they have a phrase that says, I will remember in French. And many people in English Canada don't even know why that phrase is there. 很多人都不知道为什么会放这句话上去。But all the French people know. 可是所有的法国人都知道。They'll say, "We remember that battle." 意思是我们记得我们打的那场战役。It happened 250 years ago. 那是两百五十年前发生的事。But they will never forget. The way they were treated. So now this sin has become generational. And in effect, it's cursing the nation. Because their sinful response to the way they were sinned against creates this generational um, hatred. Now, many of us believe in Canada that our national destiny is to help bring healing to other nations. Many of us believe in Canada that our national destiny is to help bring healing to other nations. People from many nations. And we're the only country in the world I know of that has a leaf on its flag. And many of us take that as from the scripture in Revelation that talks about the trees and the leaves are for the healing of the nations. So it's commonly accepted in Canada that part of our spiritual destiny is to heal nations. Meaning to bring reconciliation and peace. So what's the devil's goal? The opposite. Split up our nation. How can we reconcile nations if we split up our own? So the leader of that meeting said, if, if you were born in English Canada, in Ontario, if you were born in English Canada, stand up in a line. 那个聚会的领袖说：“假如你是在加拿大出生的英国人，你站成一排。If you were born in Quebec, stand on a line. 你是从呃魁北克出生的，你站另一排。Face each other. 我们彼此相对面。Then the English ones were to repent to the French ones. We're all Canadians, 
but the English people were to repent to the French people for what we did to them years ago. 虽然我们都是加拿大人，可是我们这些先祖是从英国来的人，我们就向这些先祖从法国来的人认罪悔改。I was one of those people doing the repenting. 我也是其中那个认罪悔改当中的一位。It was a powerful moment. 真是蛮有全能。As soon as we did, I felt the Lord say, "I have accepted your repentance, and I will save the nation." I think that when we did this action, God said, "I accept your repentance. I will save this nation." And that's when I began to declare in my church that the nation would be saved. Then I began to declare in my church that the nation would be saved. Then I began to declare in my church that the nation would be saved. Then I began to declare in my church that the nation would be saved. Then I began to declare in my church that the nation would be saved. Then I began to declare in my church that the nation would be saved. Then I began to declare in my church that the nation would be saved. Then I began to declare in my church that the nation would be saved. Then I began to declare in my church that the nation would be saved. Then I began to declare in my church that the nation would be saved. Then I began to declare in my church that the nation would be saved. Then I began to declare in my church that the nation would be They voted to stay in. 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 They But start, start small. 可是开始是很小的。Start with yourself and your family. 就是你跟你自己家的人。You see, uh, you need to have um authority to pray this prayer. 你必须本身要有这个权柄，柄你才能做的这个祷告才有效。Uh, we as English Canadians had to do the repenting because it was English Canadians who had done the sin. We, these Canada English people, we must repent because we have rights in your own family line. You have rights in your own family line. You have rights in your own family line. You can repent for the sins of other family members, and that will lift off Satan's activity over your family. You can represent other family members to repent for your family's sins. When you repent, the burden of their sins will be lifted off from their lives. And give each member of your family a more clear understanding and a better chance to serve God. Give your family a more clear understanding and a better chance to serve God. Give your family a more clear understanding and a better chance to serve God. Give your family a more clear understanding and a better chance to serve God. Give your family a more clear understanding and a better chance to serve God. Give your family a more clear understanding and a better chance to serve God. Give your family a more clear understanding and a better chance to serve God. Give your family a more clear understanding and a better chance to serve God. Give your family a more clear understanding and a better chance to serve God. Give your family a more 下一堂课我们会继续讲到代祷的内容，愿神祝福各位，希望我们再见。